Hi everyone, in this video I'm just going to share with you um, that you can create your own custom clothespins um, using your design paper. And here are a few samples of some that I created here. Um, they're really adorable. Um, there's so many beautiful design papers out there and you can customize your own. Um, the great thing is um, you can buy a bunch of these clothespins in a pack. I bought but 50 of these at my local 99 cent store so you can get 50 of these which is great and I just use a bunch of um, my favorite papers these ones are glitz designs and I love the ones with the chevron um, those look really cute on the clothespins and here's another glitz pack and then uh, the dear Lizzie um, papers you know another pretty one but there's a ton that um, you can um, use some I didn't put any on the back, like this one I did cover both sides. So you can cover both sides or you could just cover one side. So let me show you how easy it is to do. Um, to glue it, I use this Crafter's Pick glue. It's called the Ultimate. Um, this is really nice glue. Uh, it dries clear, which is great. And I picked this up at my whole, uh, local Hobby Lobby. and. Um, to seal it, I seal it with uh, Tracy Bautista's collage podge in the matte finish. And you can get this at your local Michaels. So let's go ahead and make one so I can show you how easy it is to, to make one of these. I'm just going to take a clothespin here. And if it has little pieces of wood sticking out, I just take my sand block. I just sand it a little bit. Or you could take a file. And you can paint it if you want, but I just leave it as is. It gives its, you know, unique look to the original clothespin. So I don't see um cover it with paint. Okay? So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my glue here and I'm just going to place some on the top here. You can pre-cut uh, the pieces if you want, but I don't bother to do that. So I just do this. I use my finger. And then I'm just going to take one of my scraps here. Let's take this chevron right here. And then I just line it to that bottom part of the pin. And I just kind of press it. It's really nice glue. And then I just take a pair of my scissors. I'm going to use my Tim Holtz. You want to use a non-stick pair of scissors because, you know, there is glue. And then I just cut it. Okay, and if you want, you can go back and file it a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to do the bottom piece. I just kind of just use my finger. And just give it a good press. And then just cut that. Just turn it over. Makes a really cute custom clothespin. Okay, and then just get your file. And again, you could do the back if you want to do the back. You want both sides covered. But this one, I'm just going to do the front. And then I'm going to take my collage page and I'm just going to seal it. I just use a brush. 
And I seal the sides too. You see, it's that quick and easy. Make yourself a really cute uh, clothespin. And there you have it. Got yourself a nice custom clothespin. Thanks everyone for watching. Bye.